I got, I, can you just stand right here, Mage, real quick? I just want to, the one thing I didn't do was get a good, uh, I don't want to cut you off there. Beautiful. Thanks, Mage. Hello, everyone. We're just waiting for people to come in. Happy Mother's Day. I'm waiting for uh, Mary Ann to load her live um, video. Let's see, we're gonna make sure. I always know there's a 10 second delay. Are we up and running? Excellent. Hope everyone is well. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Every mother out there, we wish you the best Mother's Day ever. I know Major has some special things in store for you. Oh, is there no sound? Everybody, we're just checking the sound. Make sure we've got some sound. Testing one, two. Nobody else is saying All right. Can you give us an idea of how the sound is? Testing. We're trying something new with this. Making sure we're connected. It, is the sound working? That's all we want to know. Oh, there is sound. Yeah. There is. Says, oh, there is sound. There is sound. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, we, we uh, decided because the sound has been a little wonky to to play around with this a little bit so we have these this wireless mic that you'll see us passing back and forth between us um, while keeping social distance uh, <laughs> so everybody is in everybody is in good everybody, says yes. everybody can hear the sound and and even with uh, the worship we're going to try it something a little different with the sound um, where we're going to put the microphone over here Hopefully, it'll create more of an ambient sound. If that doesn't work and you don't like it, then we'll try something uh, uh, new next week where we can bring the microphone over there. But I hope, yeah, that's too much. Okay, so anyway, welcome, everybody. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Now, I said to Aunt Elise last night I was going to go out and buy roses for everyone, but that would have been a problem because then... <laughs> how would we have gotten them to you all? So I'm blowing kisses to all the moms. Love you all. There's so many out there. Donna Schwartz, um, Lynette, uh, Amy, uh, uh, what? Carolyn. Of course, Carolyn. I miss you, Carolyn. Yep, Donna, we love you. Everybody, we love you. We miss you so much. And hopefully soon, someday pretty soon, we'll be able to be worshiping together again. So um, without further ado, let's start our worship time together. All right. I hope this works. I really do. All right. Let's just pray. morning. And Jesus said, come. To all mothers and all children, he said, come. To the motherless and the childless, he said, come. To all who long to be mothered, he said, come. 
Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. just a little bit just like that hopefully All right. well the announcements are very very exciting because on was it on Saturday Friday on Friday, Friday you would have loved it Annalise had her hard hat on and uh, shovels in hand uh, and our Majors Hickman, our digital leaders were there, and our own Mayor Matt Miller was there, all in little hard hats, and then we had a groundbreaking for our new indoor water park. It should be uh, 12 to 15 months. So many people, so much hard work went into that, so, much, so many people to thank. Certainly want to thank Brandon Wells uh, for all the hard work he has done um, in uh, getting that, that ready, and Debbie Cooper behind the scenes um, and all the people over in our social service that are working so hard, and Cindy and Becky and Dustin and, and uh, Teresa and all the volunteers, and, and uh, our, we have somebody working the switchboard. You'll never guess who, who works all the time. Our own Mary Ann is answering all of these calls. Look, these are, um, uh, 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 we always hear unprecedented times and all of that, but the Salvation Army here in Ashland continues to work. We continue to show up um, and do our jobs. and so grateful for our superhero staff. Uh, our lunch program started last week, which is very, very exciting. And we were able, we were able to uh, serve lunches uh, in a safe way, bringing the lunches out to cars. And our pantry continues to do its job every day and our amazing maintenance workers. How can I not forget Jeremy and Randy, who put so much hard work into making all of this uh, happen here. And like I said before, we'll see when we can all come back together again. I'm hoping it's pretty soon. I made the mistake uh, of actually touching another human being about 15 minutes ago. You know me, I'm, I'm a hugger. I'm like lots of hugging there. And so it's hard, it's difficult. And Major Klamowski was sitting down there in the front and I, my hand went and touched his arm. And I stopped and I swear I had a moment, like a Pentecostal moment. I said, I touched another human being and like lightning bolts flash through my, so I, I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when we all get back together again and we can all hug on each other. And I know even some of you non-huggers, right? You're gonna be hugging too. I can't wait for that moment. Praise the Lord. Dustin's doing a great job with our Sunday evening crew and youth, and they're continuing to meet online. And of course, my beautiful, gorgeous wife, who I love so dearly, Annalise, I know you're back at home right now. Hope you're enjoying those hydrangeas, P.S., her favorite flower. Um, and uh, she has perfected the Zoom. So Women's Ministries is continuing to rock and to roll Wednesday evenings. If you'd like to join that, you can send a little text to Annalise and she can fill you in. Any other announcements that I may have missed, which uh, probably I have, Annalise is right there and she can actually type in um, what, what it is, what I've missed. I would like to say one thing though, um, when we have our prayer time, is I had a wonderful FaceTime with Andrew Schwartz last night. A good long one too. Um, and Lynette. And Andrew looks amazing. I said, the minute he popped up on the screen, uh, he's got longer hair. I said, Andrew, you, he looks a lot like Tom Cruise. He does. It. He's got the, the whole look going on. And he showed me how he's, being, he's in the rehab and he's starting to move his hands and his uh, feet again, his legs, and it's just such a blessing. Thank you, Lord, that uh, Andrew is on the mend. And we love you, Andrew, and I can't wait to FaceTime with you again. Praise the Lord. We're going to worship together.
Today's scripture is taken from Psalm 136, verses 1 through 5. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him alone does great wonders. His love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever. How's that? Looks good. First of all, happy Mother's Day. I was um, thinking this week, uh, as I was preparing and thinking of Mother's Day, I, I, I was the Lord brought to my mind the many, many, many ladies 
women that God brought into my life over the years. I mean, from not only my grandmother and um, my mother, um, but my, my sister, my aunt, um, neighbors. I remember as a kid, uh, you know, uh, the, the ladies down the street who would scold me, um, snitch on me, um, And as I, as I grew, um, I, I remember the, the, the mothers of my friends who, who, who loved me in their, in their special way. And um, as I grew, um, you, you know, f- wives of friends. And, and I remember at the core, some of the old saints, um, you know, who just influenced me. I remember my Sunday school teachers. I remember my teachers. And, and I just went through this whole gamut of all these women in my lives. And God brought them all to my memory and all these special memories that uh, he brought. And um, I thought, thank you, God, for memories. Thank you, God, for memories. And, and I remember after, um, after I had that, um, after I had those thoughts this week, I, I called my, um, my aunt. Uh, Billy has an Aunt Betty. I have an Aunt Betty, too, in Buffalo. And um, she's the um, uh, last remaining um, person from, from that generation. And I had a wonderful, wonderful um, conversation with her. And I, and I thank God. I thank God for not only the mothers and grandmothers, but for all the women that he places in our lives. And he brings, uh, he brings, he crosses our paths with them. For they all have something to teach us. They all have something to give to us, and I thank God for that. Then on Friday, as I was watching the, um, the groundbreaking ceremony, um, I, also thought of, I was also thinking of the fact that, um, you know, we're, we're grateful for that, but we're, we're, um, we're, we're encouraged, especially these crazy times that we live in, to pray for our leaders. And as I was listening to the mayor um, share um, I thought of the fact that I've been in many, many, many communities over, over the years. And um, seldom, if at all, if at all, that I, I heard a politician, that I heard a mayor invoke the name of Jesus the way he did, to call on the Holy Spirit. Um, we need to be grateful for that. We need to be grateful for our mayor and his wife and their family, that they're fine Christian people and they love the Lord. And um, God is using them. God is using them. So as we go to prayer this morning, let us remember to pray for our leaders. We're encouraged. In fact, we're um, commanded to pray for our leaders. Um, Whether we agree or disagree, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. We need to pray for them because they are the people that God has put in in that, in that place of leadership. So let's remember to pray. Let's remember to pray, thank you, thanking God for our mothers, thanking God for the women in our lives, thanking God for the miracle uh, of, of healing that, he's, uh, that um, Major Billy has shared and, and the healing for many of you that um, God is healing and taking care of. Um, let's also remember to pray for God, thank God for his gift of marriage, his gift of family, in his gift of home. Let us take a few moments to pray this morning and give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love endures forever. Our Father God, this morning we humble ourselves before you and we say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you, Father, because you are our friend And thank you, Father, because we are your friends. We are your children. We are, we are yours. And oh, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for our redemption. We thank you, Lord, for um, your, your love, which endures forever. We thank you, Lord, that you know our name. We thank you, Lord, that, that you are there for us, that you are mindful of us, that you hear us, that you see us, that you think about us, that you 
love us. We thank you, Father, for you are, uh, you provide for us. You are compassionate. You are understanding. You are patient. You are forgiving. You are God. And we, we, we come before you this morning and say thank you. And on this special day, Father, we thank you for our mothers. We thank you, Lord, for the women in our lives. And we, we lift them up to you and pray for them. And if, they're, and if they're already with you, Father, we thank you for the memories. We thank you for the time that you gave them to us. We thank you for their influence in our lives. And we pray, O oh God, that you would just continue to move amongst us and continue to be with us, O oh God. And we pray, Father, that as we, um, uh, in the terms that they're using, open up, as we um, begin to start um, returning to um, what, uh, what we would think was normal, we, we just pray, O oh God, that you would give us wisdom that you would uh, help us, Lord, to be careful and to be, uh, and to be um, knowledgeable of what's going on around us. But, oh, God, help us to continue to, to reach out. Help us, oh, God, not to stop reaching out when, when this is over, Lord, but that we will continue to reach out. We will continue to encourage. We will continue to love. We will continue to pray. But more important than all of that, oh, God, that we will continue our spirit special time with you, that we will continue growing our relationship with you, that we will continue to love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Oh God, continue to bless us, continue to be with us, and be with us as we continue on in our service this morning, oh God. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord, that we didn't have to stop, but that we're, 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 we've been able to continue to do, uh, to, to share and to be a part of the lives of, the, of, uh, of our many, of our families, oh God, and we thank you for that. We thank you for that. And we pray, our Father, that your anointing would be, would be upon us this morning, that your anointing would be upon your word this morning, that your anointing would be upon each and every person who is, who is listening, oh God, who is watching and who is praying and, and worshiping you this morning. May you be praised. May you be glorified in all things. For we ask all of these things in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to, God, to the God of gods, for his love endures forever. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. Whenever we think about God, whenever we think about all that he's done, whenever we think about his attributes and what he's done, we need to thank him because it's all because he loves us and his love endures forever. His mercies endure forever. The Bible says to honor our father and our mothers. And so when we observe Mother's Day, we are honoring them. So in honor of um, my mother, and in, who God blessed me to have for um, 90, a little over 93 years, um, and, 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 and just such wonderful memories of, of, of her and, and her faith uh, was, was, was unshakable, was unshakable. And, and um, we just don't have the time. I could tell you so many stories, so many fond memories uh, of her. But um, we, have, we have all these women who have influenced our lives and all these women who have influenced my life um, I'm going to bring a, a, a message that is sort of di that is very different than um, what we were do that what we've been doing lately. Now, my wife loves me, and and um, those of you who know Marianne know that um, she's quick. Okay, um, I mean she is quick with a retort. She is quick with. Um, uh, uh, um, sarcastic say moments and I said to her just the other day I said to her my message is going to be different this week and right away she said oh is it going to be short you know <laughs> she loves me she loves me
we need to ask God to appreciate. We need to appreciate the ones that God sets before us. And so we honor the women in our lives by, one, obeying them, especially when we're young. And I think of the, as I shared, all the, all the mothers, all the women who, um, who influenced my life. But we're also to listen to their wisdom and counsel. Don't, don't disregard them or disregard what they say. Listen to their wisdom and counsel. Care for them when they are old. Care for them when they get old. Love them forever. And remember them often. I was blessed to be married to a wonderful woman for 30 years. And then God doubly blessed me that after, after she passed, God gave me another woman to love and to cherish and to spend my life with. And I am just so grateful. I am just so grateful. And, and oftentimes, I, and, and I remember sharing this with the, uh, the men in the ARC, um, you know, some who had difficulty fi- finding the right person, just one right person, God bless me with two. But my, fir- my first wife, my late wife, used to share a book uh, entitled Love You Forever. Now, some of you may be familiar with this, written by Robert Munch, Munch M-U-N-C-S-C-H. But um, my wife used to share that on Mother's Day in our core, in the core that we were in, and in the centers that we were in. And uh, whenever I've had a chance to, uh, since she's been gone to preach on Mother's Day, I've always shared this, uh, this book, this story. And so, with your permission... I'm going to share this with you uh, this morning, entitled Love You Forever. And in honor of her and in honor of Mother's Day, um, allow me to share this uh, with you. And um, I have some tissue in my pocket because I've never read this book or heard it read without um, it tearing up. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth Back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old. And he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator. And he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. And sometimes his mother mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of the bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll love you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. And the boy grew, he grew and he grew and he grew, and he grew until he was nine years old, and he never wanted to come in for dinner, he never wanted to take a bath, and when grandma visited, he always said bad words, and sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at night time, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of the bed, and if he was really asleep, she picked him up, and that nine-year-old boy, and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager and he had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. And sometimes his mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, She picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you always, 
as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. That teenager grew, and he grew, and he grew, and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man, and he left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. And if all the lights in her son's house were out, she opened his bedroom window and crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. And if that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll love you always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. And one day she called up her son and said, you better come and see me because I'm very old and sick. And so her son came to see her. And when he came in the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever and I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. And the son went to his mother. He picked her up. And he rocked her back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song, I'll love you forever. I'll love you always. As long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you always. And as long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. There are many times in our lives when those special people we need to love, we need to love. Even when they're not aware of it, we need to love. Isaiah 66, 13 says, He, as a mother, comforts her child, so I will comfort you. God wants us. God desires us to comfort one another. He desires us to provide. He provides for us. He wants us to come. He wants to comfort us. He wants us to. He wants to provide for us. He came for us and he protects us. And we need to lift him up. My wife's aunt is in a nursing home, and she's 90 years old, and she gets, and she's still running, running around and, and, and helping others and going from floor to floor. But this, the virus, the, the coronavirus, has, has her locked in her room. And, and the other day she, uh, she was texting, and, and, and I sensed a little despair, and I sensed a little um, you know, depression in her. And I wrote to her and I said this to her. I said, let us remember that God desires us to climb into his lap and to, sit, and to crawl into his lap and, and, and settle in his arms and say, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. And he, and he whispers to us, I'll love you forever. I'll love you forever. My love endures forever. We've been talking the last few weeks about encouragement, about encouragement. Was not our mothers the greatest human encourager that there ever was? God created something beautiful when he created mothers. God created something beautiful when he created mothers. We're going to sing that beautiful song by Bill Gaither. Something beautiful, something good. All my confusion he understood. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. But he made something beautiful of my life. 
won't you sing with me and remember those beautiful people that God has placed in our lives. I'm not going to sing because this is here, but won't you um, join Major Billy and my wife as they sing something beautiful and think about those beautiful people, those beautiful people. Our Father God, this morning, may we not only see the beauty in our mothers and the beauty and and the wonderful women that you've placed in our lives and have brought into our lives, but also, Father, may we see the beauty in each and every one of us. May we see the beauty in, in our neighbors. May we see the beauty in your creation. And the crown of your creation was humans. The crown of your creation was us. And oh God, may we not see the bad, but always see the good. Always see the good and the beauty. And may we pray for each other. May we pray that you will, that your beauty will be enhanced as we trust you and as we look to you. Oh God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For we pray in these things in your name, and may you be praised and glorified. Amen. Again, I remind you that um, if you'd like us to pray with you, if you uh, need us to, um, to give you a, a call, we're, we're anxiously looking forward to getting back together again. But until then, uh, please let us know. Just let us know. And God bless you, and have a great week.
Thursday to you. And if you're like us, you're going to tune in to saconnects.com. Is that right? saconnects.com or .org? I always get Oh, sorry. saconnects.org to listen to our territorial leaders, Salvation Army leaders, uh, bring some worship and bring the message to you. So please, if you can go to saconnects.org or saconnects.org backslash live, that will bring you right there, I think. God bless you all, and we'll see you next week. Love you. Agape. All right. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I absolutely love you. Happy Mother's Day, Annalise. I'll see you soon. We're getting Chipotle. <laughs>